Hey everyone, James Lynch here, fresh off vacation, doing a quick reaction video to the news that Lucas Tracy, one of the largest MMA YouTubers and fastest rising YouTubers in the MMA space, has decided to retire and pursue other interests in his career. If you guys have watched my channel, you know, one of the things I do like talking about is things going on in the industry, and this is a huge development. So he put out about a five minute statement and then gave his picks for UFC 305. We're gonna watch a few clips from here, uh, some of the things that he touches on, and then I'll give my own theories as to why I think Lucas is leaving the space because this, let's be honest, this came totally out of left field seeing this video, which uh, again was about 40 minutes ago uh, posted on his channel. Let's have a quick watch. Lucas Tracy MMA, and I am signing off. That's right, you read the title. This is the last final video, maybe not of all time, but for the foreseeable future. And I've been thinking about this for the past six months. Do I just want to do this for a living? I love MMA. I've been watching MMA for years before I ever made content covering it, and I'll be watching MMA for the rest of my life. Unless I get bored of it, which I do not think I will, because I think once you're an MMA fan, you're an MMA fan forever. I like being a YouTuber. I like making content. I get to be creative. It's a dream job. But when I think about my future, and when I think about, do I want to invest work and a career into just this? Or do I want to do other things in life as well? And that is the reason why I am going to pursue something else, which I've even been working on behind the scenes for quite some time, specifically a health-related business idea that is going to require a lot of effort. And I'm not this half-ass type of person that, you know, can only do a little bit here and then, you know, like I'm an all or nothing type of person. So basically he goes on to thank everyone and then he goes into the UFC 305 picks. So you heard it there. He basically says that he wants to pursue something different. So a couple of things that I found interesting about this, he didn't talk about, um, you know, anything that like was bad about doing this. He just talked about how he wants to pursue this new thing that's, uh, you know, some health related thing. He was very vague about it, but we know that Lucas uh, is into sort of health and fitness. He, his Instagram handle is, you know, Lucas T Fitness. Uh, you know, he's, he is promoting some of that as well. He used to be a personal trainer too. So it, it sounds legit that he wants to go into something that may require all of his time. I just wonder why he can't just you know why he's like retiring completely i guess unless he's one of those people where he feels like he has to do what he was doing before lucas tracy wise on the channel um and he couldn't do both because i don't see the harm in doing like a video a week and still doing this other opportunity as well like he says he's still going to watch mma so that's the part that kind of threw me off a little bit but uh, like i mentioned in this video i have a few theories as to why i think uh lucas is you know going this different route because like i said his channel is is doing quite well financially for him i did a video on uh, some of the you know top creators in youtube and he's doing quite well financially so it seems a bit interesting that he would leave at this point when things are really starting to to blow up even more than they already were so one of the things that i wrote down here in my notes because he is such a health and fitness guy i wonder if the amount of time he was spending you know making videos live streaming um you know it was having an effect on his health to a certain degree it's tough, tough to manage that to sit for that long I, I look at his past live streams here i mean and, and a lot of youtubers do this i don't do this anymore uh because i just don't have time but you look at some of these streams here two hours eight hours nine hours two hours, six hours, three hours, three, like these are long streams that he's been doing. And it's something I've mentioned before that I think like if you're streaming this much, you're really missing out on a lot of other things as much as we love interacting with, you know, the audience and everything like that. I do wonder if it was sort of a health related thing there. I also wonder if maybe there was a bit of burnout. And I think, you know, the reason he didn't bring that up here was maybe because he just wanted to focus more on what, you know, getting out of there because may, maybe fans would also chime in and say something to the effect of, oh, well, you know, you don't have to stream every card or people will try and convince him otherwise. I think this is like a clean break for him and he can maybe see what life is like outside of not being a YouTuber. He mentioned and, uh, you know, obviously uh, starting this channel uh, back in 2022. Um, the other thing we got to talk about with Lucas Tracy as well is that, you know, the type of content he was making and he's not as bad as some of the other people out there when it comes to, you know, sort of the, um, what is it? Not shock content, but stuff that was really going to, you know, bring out certain types of fans is that Lucas was making enemies. I mean, it was very obvious. We heard Joe Pfeiffer at one of the media things go after him, uh, Chris Curtis. Um, some of the content he was making was upsetting people. And I wonder if that got to him as well, um, you know, in terms of, you know, people being crazy online towards him. 
with some of the stuff that he said. Again, there's people out there that are worse than Lucas Tracy in that regard. And I personally didn't find any of this stuff that offensive. But we live in a day, day and age where, you know, if, if you say something that people don't like, people get very obsessive about it. So I wonder if, you know, there's been some fan backlash, maybe people going out there and trying to, uh, you know, go after him on, on social media. Like he seems he's one of the few guys actually that I, I've seen that can take a lot of flack and doesn't seem to be bothered by it. But you do wonder if there's been people maybe in his DMs or something along these lines that are maybe getting a bit too personal with some of the stuff that he said. And I wonder if that's a concern. The other thing is Lucas is one of the few YouTubers that uses his full name. If you think of all the YouTubers that are out there, I'm not going to go through all of them, but even as you know, his guru is an example. It's pretty hard to find his real name and where exactly he lives. With Lucas, you've got his name. I think you can guess he lives in the U.S. I mean, if there's weird enough fans, they could go and look all that up. And maybe there's some privacy concerns there as well. Also, with the fact that Lucas was making some enemies, I know at one point he wanted to get into doing some fighter interviews, maybe to expand his horizons and all that. That limits you as well. Like, and I told this to him in our industry podcast where I'm like, are you worried that some of the content you're making will, you know, make it harder for you to have other opportunities, whether it's interviewing fighters or covering events. And, you know, he basically said, yeah, I'm aware of it for sure. Um, I, I wonder if that was part of it too, where it's like, you know, the way things were going with his channel, he was very limited in what he could do. He could make as many opinion videos and talk about things as he wants, but getting stuff with fighters would be very difficult. Going to events would be extremely difficult. That's another reason too, why maybe he thought, mm, you know, this isn't for me. I, I don't like the, the way things are headed. Um, but yeah, this is, this is very surprising. Like I said, like Lucas was really at a point where he was um, doing quite well uh, financially. Um, it seemed like the channel was, you know, really thriving. Like the way a lot of these YouTubers are, are making content, you're, you're prone to get burned out. Um, I mean, even at the time of recording this right now, this UFC card, like I'm not watching it live. I will watch it after the fact. I've done videos on this about how not to get burnt out. I just came back off a of vacation. I mean, there's a lot of YouTubers that don't do all these things and eventually the burnout's going to hit. So I, I, I wonder if it's part burnout. He says he still watches the sport. But, you know, again, if you've committed to this where you're doing live streamings every event and you're, you know, doing Q and A's up to three hours and you're making content on top of that, that takes up a lot of time and takes away from a lot of other things. So I think that could uh, play a role in that. And as I'm about to close, out this video I, I just want to wish Lucas the best uh, him and I have always been cool like I said I've had him on my show a few times he's very knowledgeable when it comes to the health and fitness area which is another interest of mine too um, you know he might know more than we do where it's like hey this isn't worth it talking this much on camera and creating content as much as as, as I as he has been uh, maybe it'd be better to do something more productive and, and and maybe better for the world I know that sounds crazy but I just mean you know the, the, the style of his content is very much like negative so some of it some of it's positive as well but there's a lot that was negative as well that just goes to extremes to get a reaction out of people maybe he saw the writing on the wall and thought i don't really want to be that guy going forward too um maybe he sort of you know created this thing and he's like i don't know if i want to see it through so um i, I don't know if he'll be retired for good like i said i think he could get into any other opportunity and uh do you know stuff part-time like i said like a video a week like prime example you know and obviously not doing as much content but you look at like dennis from submission radio he has a full-time job and he's still holding down really big interviews as well. I think it's possible to still make a bit of money on the side and also, you know, run a YouTube channel as well. So I don't know if this is, I mean, this might be like a typical MMA retirement. He might retire now, but we might see him pop up later. And I hope he comes back because I think Lucas is great. Like I said, a lot of the stuff he did, um, I thought was very positive and very interesting. And, um, you know, I like the debates he would do with fans. And I think some of his videos were very good ideas. And there's stuff I very much disagreed with. And I would make fun of him for it uh, in like a joking manner. I remember the Charles Oliveira fight at UFC 289 where he's like, Charles Oliveira is going to miss weight and this is going to be the hammer in his career and he made weight and he beat Benil Dariush and I always gave him a hard time for that. All of these things that I brought out here today, I think it's a combination of things that maybe led him to doing something different with, with his career. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, do you think Lucas Tracy is going to stay retired for good? Do you think he'll come back? And what do you make of his decision to leave and pursue another career? Do you believe it? Or do you think there's other things at hand? Again, these are just things that I think could have contributed to him leaving uh, his YouTube channel behind. But I'm not saying it's you know 100% the reason. I'm just you know looking at this from all different angles. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, at Lynch on Sports. My name is James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.